Good evening. I will be presenting the shipment rate analysis for 2010 for a specific company for my continuous improvement class of spring 2022. My name is Rudy Rodriguez. I am a senior student here at Charleston State University, graduating in mechanical engineering technology. For the basic outline, I will be going, I will be introducing the problem. I'll be giving a background and then I will go through all the trend chart, pie chart, Pareto chart, cause and effect analysis and proposed actions to solve the problem. So the continuous improvement class of spring class of 2022 was assigned a data set and asked to analyze, report on and propose an action plan on the on time and late percentages for a company. An understanding of the cause and effects from data organization in the workspace is expected to come from this project. So a little background about the problem. Five products are sold, packaged, and shipped by this set company. Products A, B, C, D, and E. 1,208 deliveries were made throughout the year of 2010. And the, this data needs to be analyzed by on time and late percent late delivery percentages. A total of 618 on-time deliveries with 590 late deliveries due to five different reasons. Data, the, this data is then separated into monthly deliveries and then analyzed more deeply. And based on the, just the overall data from the whole year, there is an average of on-time to late percentages of 51.3%. So for our trend chart, as here you can see for each month, January, February, March, April, May, all the way to December, for the year 2010, that the, the trend line for the on-time to late percentages fluctuate around 50%, which gives us an average of 51.3%, but during the month of May, we have the lowest of 41.8%, and in March, the highest of 55.6%. So here we're, we're breaking down the, we're looking at the specific month of May as to, and looking at the late deliveries for the worst month, and they are at 16.4% higher than on on-time deliveries. So here we have 70, we're looking at a sample size of 122 total deliveries made in the month of May. 71 are late, 51 were on time. And here, as you can see on the pie chart, the late ones are a lot more at 58.2%. The Pareto chart here is we're breaking down more in, and looking more into detail as to the reasons of why these deliveries were late to begin with. So missing parts and engineering change, failed inspection, broken tool, and capacity are the top five main reasons as to late deliveries for this company. Whereas in May, because we are still looking at May, we're looking at a sample size of 71 and missing parts and engineering change are the same at 18, and that gives us a total of 50.7% of late deliveries are attributed to these two failures. So once we break it down and look at the cause and effect analysis, we see that poor quality checks exist in this production line, both at the production line and the packing and shipping level, and better employee training could be used and the floor plans could be just are disorganized and could be better made better to for the material flow so the proposed action plan is have better uh, better quality control in place for the production line packing and shipping Production lines should be reevaluated for improvement and better material flow so we can designate areas for manual labor and machine working could be one solution and implement a system for material and tool organization as it flows through the shop floor. 
and then an update to the training software or just a re retraining for some of the employees so because machines change over time so just retraining them or just kind of give them a little refresher course as well as machine programming changes throughout time too so update the training software for efficient parts handling and machine programming and that way everyone knows what to do and how to do it.